we're gonna be bringing these vans back. I mean, not too far gone, but you know, they could be better. I also forgot to mention that these shoes are from my man James. I don't know how to say your ad name, but here you can follow him if you want to. Done with this custom. It'll look something more like this. We're gonna go for our Kotsky design. And you know, we got the clouds on the side, we got the rings on the front, Kotsky on the inside on this one, Kotsky on the outside on the other shoe. Oh, we got the second shoe. So here we go. Y'all can see that. No, I'll get on camera right a little bit of struggle. First things first though, I want to clean this shoe off. So you can use whatever sneaker products you prefer, but I'm gonna give you my recommendation anyway. I use Shoevenator. It's great sneaker stuff. You don't have to use a lot to clean some shoes, bring them back. All right, guys, so right here, I already got the solution mixed up, added my water, and you see I'm just scrubbing, scrubbing all that dirt off, really getting into the shoe, just trying to make them look real pretty by the time we're done. You can see I'm changing different brushes, different brushes do different things, they use for different parts of the shoe, but overall, when we're done, we're gonna have a nice, clean shoe. Pretty close to like, how they come. Look at the boy go, really getting it in there. <laughs> you go, boy. All right, about here, I started to realize, <laughs> yo, this video is going to be way too long if I record me cleaning both of these shoes. But here's where I'm about to stop and get back into what we're doing. Here we go. Look at that. You look at that. Somebody come look at this. I'm looking at it, boy. Yeah. I'm looking. That's pretty damn cool. Now we're back and we're gonna actually get started on the actual custom. So here we are. We got all our stencils, got a bunch of clouds printed out. Don't know how I'm gonna how many I'm gonna need, it depends on how the shoe works with me. Got some transfer tape already cut out to the size I need. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Basically, to do your stencils, you wanna cut out a square, rectangle, whatever shape you have. You're gonna put the transfer paper over top. I use my heat gun over it, like so. Kind of thing, flatten it out, make sure there's no bubbles in there, and then peel it off the back, put it on the shoe, and get started. So here we are right now, we got the cloud already set up on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my little weeding tool. I'm gonna take out the outside of the cloud. At this point, all I'm doing, taking the cloud out, the little outline, so I can go ahead and fill in the outside of the cloud first, get the outline down, working my way from the outside in. So yeah. Voila, now you can see the actual cloud. We have the little outline going. And now, cut out all your stencils. Go ahead and place them on the shoe. Figure out where you want all of them before you put any, any, in on the shoe. Because once you start painting this shoe, covering it up is not gonna be fun. I don't even, I mean, I'm not gonna recommend this if you really don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna doing this for a little bit, so I'm gonna just take this piece off and put it on. At this point in the video, guys, all I'm doing is laying down all my stencils, mapping out basically where I want every cloud to be in perspective to one another. And then I'm gonna show my man James his shoes, see how he likes where the clouds are, so he can automatically see where they're gonna be, how they're gonna look. So there's no confusion and no upsetting headache at the end saying he didn't like them where they were because I'm showing him exactly how they'll look exactly where they'll be before I lay down any paint. This is what we're back with now. He didn't want the four. Move this one a little bit. And now we're gonna get into our painting. So this right here, little jar, just like I said before, mix of this GAC, flat white, one to one ratio. Shake it up. Start with a little thin tip brush. Work my way. Getting the outline down first. So just fill it in. 
like I was saying guys, all I'm doing right here at this party, because you can't really get a good look at it, but all I'm doing is simply doing the light outline of the cloud and getting it ready for the next step. Now, outline is where I want it to be. I'm gonna take off the actual clouds themselves. And what I'm gonna do now is take my white, I'm still using the white and just fill it in the middle. We go back, put in the red, take our flat black, and do any little touch ups that we might have. And we're, we got our clouds. There we go. So this is about where we want to be before we start laying down some red. Got a decent little back coat, got our light outline still there. And then we basically just trace in with our red. And just like that, our once ugly cloud is looking pretty good actually like come on the lines were all painted over didn't look it wasn't even as neat as these and one coat in and that's where we're at come on stop playing with me and <clears throat> there we go one coat in gonna lay down a couple more really get it together i like where we are right now we gotta Nice little couple bases of red. I'm going to throw some more red on there. Here's our Akatsuki. Can you see that? I can't find that. See that but basically, all we're going to do now is grab our Sharpie, fill this in, and. So like I was saying before, I'm just filling in the letters on the side of the shoe, which is gonna say Akatsuki. Started from the eye, working my way back, using light pressure, not pushing too hard to get it to bleed through the stencil, but get it just enough to get it on there and get a nice clean coat. Akatsuki. Oh yeah, I already put the hidden leaf symbol sticker on the back. That's stencil, but because that's who he wants on the back. That's the village he chose. So we're gonna go ahead and get her done. And here I'm just taking off the stencil. I've already got all my paint down the way I'd like it. And now time to see what we're working with. Ooh. Ain't that noise make. Oh, no. But yeah. Here we are, y'all. So this is the right shoe. Completely finished. The basic step-by-step -step process that we went through to get this far. I'm gonna do the other shoe off camera. I'm not gonna hold you, it'll be a long video doing both. Here's our finished product, like I showed before. We got our shoes done, we got our clouds on there, the Akatsuki rings, we got the inside done, we got the heel done. And just wanna thank y'all for watching this far. If you made it this far, drop a like if you like what you saw comment let me know what you want to see in the next video any questions that you have and i'll see y'all next time